GCSE Biology 4.5b focusing on the importance of the food web. The food web allows us to provide a much better description of the ecosystem. You will recall that the ecosystem is composed of the community of organisms which are interacting. In this case the interaction our food web describes is feeding. The advantage of the food web is that it allows us to show organisms feeding at different trophic levels. Feeding at different trophic levels has a number of consequences. First of all, organisms can have multiple predators. An organism may be feeding on multiple prey and we'll see that this results in the food chains becoming linked. Our producer is grass. Our primary consumers include the rabbit, the beetle, slugs, mice. In this instance the woodlice would be considered a primary consumer. Our secondary consumers include small birds, the badger feeding this way and if we go across here we see that the grass eaten by the rabbit and then the rabbit is eaten by the hawk, this would mean that the hawk is also a secondary consumer. However, we can also see that the hawk, if the hawk feeds on the small birds, then we have grass, primary consumer, secondary consumer. The hawk in this case is acting at the tertiary consumer level. Looking for evidence of multiple predators, we can see that the slug is the prey to both small birds, badgers and hedgehogs. Looking for organisms which feed on a variety of different organisms, we have of course the example of the hawk and here the fox. The fox is feeding on rabbits, mice and shrews and we see that there are linked food chains. Some of the food chains have two or just three links in them.